Alright, so hi, welcome to another episode of Quarter Life Crisis. So, uh, this is actually my first episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay good, good, good. Yeah, so because I'm trying to rebrand. So, I have with me here Hasif, who is the founder of Katoshka. So, Katoshka is basically a, a, a brand that sells uh, potatoes, mm-hmm. uh, fries, mm-hmm. and which have really. Uh, I think it's really very good in the sense that I always see people uh, uh, going to your stalls in like yes. Gilang Bazaar mm-hmm. and other stuff, right? So I, f- I feel like your brand is really very good. Oh, thank yeah, you. so a lot of people always go for kot- Kotoshka and then it's like, there was one time where I went to the bazaar and I wanted to buy some Katoshka fries, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. There was a queue and I'm like, okay, next time lah. <laughs> uh, isn't it like normal for bazaar? Like generally, no, like no, everyone is packed. No, no, but the thing is for you, no, because back then uh, there was a lot of stalls and it was this uh, this year's one. Uh-huh. Your stall and only a few stalls were that, that, that amount of queue, I would say. So I would say like yours is still doing well even though after a few years. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So that's uh that's Katushka for you. So yeah, Thank say you. hi to the camera. Hello. <laughs> this is my first time also being uh, video. This is my first time doing <laughs> this thing as well. Yeah. So uh, but before uh creating Katushka, right? Mm. So how do you came up with this idea of just starting up your own uh, bazaar store? Mm. Like what was the what was the start of this idea? Okay. Uh, for me, I I've, I've always wanted to start something like mm. back then, like uh, after my NS. I feel like uh. I wanted to start a business. Yeah, I've, I've, but I, I don't, I don't really know what exactly. Mm. But then, because like uh, a year before I started, I, I saw, because a friend of mine is working at Gilang Bazaar. Ah. So I see, oh, this is uh, actually a good, uh, good market. And and back then, the, like 2015, like Gilang Bazaar, like majority of it is uh, mainly traditional food. Yeah. So like this yeah. quick way, you yeah. know, and and the rental was still way cheaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I say, oh, okay, this is not bad. Like, I I don't see any like uh, the young youngsters doing it. Oh. So maybe like a, uh, you know, it, it's it's a it's a good platform for me to start lah, like something mm-hmm. different, you know. Mm-hmm. So I I really because I, I understand that Gelangbasa is it's always crowded. Yes. You know, so I feel like oh maybe if I if it's, it's good if we, if we differentiate ourselves like being the the young people, you know, mm-hmm. instead of just like mm-hmm. the machi no, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So I think I had an idea. Okay, maybe Gelangbasa is an is a, is a good platform for me to start. So then secondly, it's like, what should I sell? Right, so again, like I, I did some like brainstorm by myself, you know. Like, I was thinking desserts or you know food, but and, and generally I'm, I'm a foodie la. Like yeah. I, I love, I love food. Yeah, I see you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all about food, see, right? <laughs> so yeah, uh, it was just nice that back then, like my family went to Amsterdam. Oh, Amsterdam, yeah. Yeah. So they had like this street food where they call it the Amsterdam chips. Mm. So it's 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 basically like a uh, fries in a cone. Yeah. And they have like a uh, different sauces. Oh. So that inspired me to do. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I like fries. I mean, like it's a, it's a very generic food. Like yes, everyone should love fries. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, uh, I don't see any, uh, you know, like stalls, mm-hmm. like pop ups do, doing, uh, fries or specialize in any fries. You know. Yeah. So okay, this could be a could be a thing lah. Yeah. So from there, I I thought about it and then I told about the idea to my friend, my close friend, basically, and he just said, oh yeah, this is actually a good idea, and we have this vision where like. Let's let's make it like more not only just food but also like customer oriented. You know, like because uh, I understand like the bazaar at times the experience is not so pleasant yeah, because it's hot and humid and people yeah. just want to rush. Okay, you wanna get it or not? Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. So like, because uh, I, I back then I was working in Starbucks as well. So like mm-hmm. we we there's this culture where you know like we are, we are more customer oriented. You know, it's not just serving food but yeah. also there's a like extra you know mm-hmm. like service. Mm. So yeah, so so I had a vision and, and I shared to my friend. And thankfully, like he, he believes in me, and okay, let's say okay, uh, let, let's start it. So from there we did, and this was like about three four months prior the event la. Mm, Oh wow! Yeah, I, it wasn't that long actually. Like I had the idea, but I just think about it, you know. So uh, three four months before the event, then I got serious, and then we we tried to do some R and D, and mm. yeah. Uh, and I <laughs> for me, I, I basically I just jump. I, I just jump forward, jump, la. yeah, just jump into that 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 scene and okay, let's let's just try lah. Let's you know? try it, okay. I, I don't know what to expect, <laughs> but I, let me just do it. Because oh. I, I feel with that I have that vision. If I feel like it should it should work, you know, yeah. it should work since like the, the market back then is still very raw. Yes, know? definitely. So yeah, uh, so three four months I got the main idea. Then towards like two months before it, that's where I like okay, I think like I need more people. So that's where I share to my 
other friends like four others mm-hmm. and my and my and my sister so they say uh yeah I, I share this and do you are you guys okay like jamming on board mm-hmm. say, yeah okay mm. yeah but honestly I and, and I'm grateful for this lah like most of them are all are willing to help yeah it, it's not something that uh okay you I'm gonna work for you you just pay me it's ah. more like okay I, we, we see this vision let, let's do this together oh so it's not transactional it's more uh, yeah. towards they also share the same yes. vision so this is where I, I feel like oh really, that's so nice uh, um, in terms of monetary, I don't really have that much back then. <laughs> it's, it's more, I mean, not back then. Like, I still, I'm still very small fry. Actually, uh, they are sincere people. So, so I'm really grateful for that. Like, yeah. I got, I got friends to back me up. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it's really important. Yeah. So from there, I'm, I'm just so grateful. Uh. So they, they do the, like the, the design of, like, uh, the logo. My logo. Yeah. yeah. Like, so a friend of mine, like, I, I, I form a team, lah. So uh, mm. this team is like everyone has their own different strength. Mm-hmm. So like one is like. Uh, like Shibri is more like the concept, like uh, yeah, like the concept. He has the vision, the same vision as me. Mm-hmm. And uh, a friend of my Ari, yeah. so she's back then she was more on the design, so mm-hmm. she designed the logo. Oh, nice. And, uh, and also the the brand name. So like the things, the brand name is like, it, it's very simple uh, back then. So uh, we we just sit down. <laughs> I was having pizza. Okay. Yeah. So typically we 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 always chill, from time, especially when we finish NS, you know. Yeah. It's a lot more free time. So like yeah. rather than just not do anything, we we sit down and. Talk about this lah, about this like, what, what should we name this this brand? Mm-hmm. So I was thinking like fries, uh, fries de- de- derived from potato. So let yeah. let's 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 search uh, potato in different languages. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, because back then I I wanted to some I want something like that's that's very international or it's not so typical. Yeah. Yeah. So when people say, oh, is this, this is h- how do you pronounce this? Like it's something different. Yeah. So I was thinking, oh, then we we look it up lah. Then my friend said, oh, how about Russian like kartoshka? So kartos. <laughs> Kartoshka with the R, yeah. it's actually potato. Yeah. So and I just I just decided to remove the R. Oh. So the Kartoshka. So I okay. mean it's easier to, easier. to pronounce. Easier. Nice. It, so so, so to uh, yeah, yeah. Kartoshka. Yeah. Like, yeah. So that's uh, that's the reason. But I think we did we did one night and okay, all of us agree. Okay, let, let, let's name name that. Mm. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Uh, yeah. So like I've designed and then my s- sister is doing uh, the recipe back then and yeah. also a bit of like the marketing input lah. Like mm. like maybe what what should we uh, h- how can we market it? Yeah. yeah. Like your Instagram page is really very nice. Really, like it's really aesthetically very nice because really? I showed it to Nadia, ah. <laughs> who's behind the camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, she says it's really very nice. Oh. I see it's like because uh, for me, I I do a lot of social media content, uh. and your Instagram page is uh, really very important. And then when I see your Instagram page, I'm like wow, it's like aesthetic. Uh. Like I I I can see a lot of thought and care to uh. every post that you do. It's really very good. Yeah, kudos to that. So yeah, so now that that was. N- I mean, I mean now it's been curated by my sister, yeah. Like so, yeah. she, she 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 has more time, and and back then we, we just like okay, whatever. If you see from the first post, <laughs> it's quite raw, and and yeah. it's not really well curated. But she, my, my 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 best friend she be uh, he tried to do it, mm-hmm. but the problem is, the moment you set a certain standard, right? Like it's quite hard to maintain. So like uh, we can't just take yes. like any photo like uh this is, it won't suit anymore. Yeah, you it's know? not the style and brand. Yeah, but yeah. now as we go on, we understand. Okay, maybe we have a certain session where we need. Certain photogra- photographs, so like mm-hmm. we sometimes hire or a friend. Okay, let, let's take mm-hmm. this photograph and we can just send on, yeah. send us and use. Yeah, yeah. So I I feel like for for me the the team was amazing, lah. Yeah, it yeah. is, it is. So other than that, uh, yeah, like I I honestly I didn't plan as much. It's more about the food because I was selling food, right? So I was thinking, okay, this is my vision. Make sure our food is good. Uh, we are nice people, you know. Be yeah. be nice to the customer. Okay, uh-huh. let's let's do it. Yeah. So along the way, I. I I learned a lot, lah. Mm-hmm, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Definitely, mm-hmm. because like uh, to always uh, do this kind of like business is pretty hard in the sense that uh, you co- because you are have people under you, uh-huh. and then you have to f- like you have to mouth to feed, lah. I, I uh-huh. guess, uh, And then you also need people to work through your vision because mm-hmm. I think Correct. that's the hardest thing to, to convince people Correct. Correct. to do. Yeah. yeah, and then once you hit that vision, which I can see, uh, it's mm-hmm. like I see from Instagram, like oh my god, like they will stay up three a.m., four a.m. Mm-hmm. It's like wow, these kind of people, like yeah. wow, you really have very, uh, very good people to work yeah. with. I would say. So the, the thing is, I feel it's not. I don't feel like the people work under me. It's uh, more of a team with you, lah. Yes, we are all work together. Mm. Yeah, we work together because yeah. everyone has their different strength and that's weaknesses. That's true. That's true. You know, it, it's yeah. Because. I, I myself, I'm still learning. So mm-hmm. we are all, we are young, you know. Definitely. Like, I'm, I'm no better than you. Like, yeah. all of us are different in, yeah. in different ways. Yeah. That's true. So I think one of the things is, is, is the culture, like how I uh, feel that. No, if, if if something's not right, and you just we, we voice out each other. No, mm, like we, we, we nice. take feedbacks. Openness, uh, to yeah. to feedbacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. So, uh, the thing about uh, like, how do you 
how do you get started uh, start started financially like how do you get funding from mm-hmm. for your because the rent in Gilang Bazaar yeah. I would say is pretty expensive right, right? right. yeah so like, like I said back then like in 2016 2015 this is not that high it's oh, not okay. it's not five figures <laughs> yeah. like the stores that I wanted are maybe <laughs> like maybe like 6000 oh, okay, 7000 okay. okay so again like I said because I I was from NS I, I did some sa- savings savings uh. and it wasn't that much actually uh, mm. yeah if you need I think like it was about 10000 Mm. Yeah, okay la, honestly, that was what I have at back then. All I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you just just all yeah, in, ah? So oh my god. Okay. That's okay. the thing. Like, I didn't talk too much. Like, okay, okay. this is some, uh, something I believe in. L- let's just let's just start with this. Oh, yeah. that's nice. And and good. The the thing about starting in Gelang Bazaar, I mean, you don't have uh, you don't need so much capital. Mm. So this is like a one month thing, and we'll see how oh it yeah, goes. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. So like, you don't have to like uh, think about like if you say let's say you do a physical stall, you have yeah. to think about the renovations. Yeah, all. that's so true. So that one will all cost a lot more. Mm-hmm. So I think like again like Gilang was a good strategy move for me to do. Yeah. And uh, talking about like uh, stalls, right? It's like when are you guys opening? Or are you guys planning to open? Or <laughs> like because yeah, because I think your brand is pretty good, and then you guys also are op- uh, making your menu even. Bigger, like you're uh-huh. expanding to drinks. Uh-huh. I would say, like yeah. if more, right, I kind of yeah. stop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then you also sold uh, something else during the bazaar. Chicken, yeah. chicken, right? So yeah. Chicken. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so so yeah. So I was thinking, like, since you have some items in the menu, why not like an actual physical store? Maybe like come up to my mind, right? Bugis Junction, you know, uh-huh. uh, downstairs there was right. a lot of uh, food traffic and uh-huh. that kind of thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you guys plan to do it or uh, uh, have you I have that thought? I mean, a lot of people. Uh, Ask a question right. asked about yeah. this, uh, but uh, I feel because I'm, I'm in the I'm in the Indian industry, right? Like mm. I understand that uh, the demand can be fluctuate, lah. Yes. The reason why I feel that there always somewhat demand for us is because something that we don't do often. Mm. Yeah. Then again, like the moment you do like physical stall, I feel like number one there will be a certain commitment. Yeah. So, like you need a, normally like at least you need at least a year. Mm-hmm. You need a few months rental. That's so and then you need renovation. Yeah. So all that will co- will add up to the cost. Yeah. And I believe my nature of food is not something that is uh you know a staple. It's not like rice mm-hmm. or noodle. Mm-hmm. So it's it's more like a so it's it's more like a yeah like like a like a side thing or like a snacks. Yeah. Yeah. So I I feel like or not I, something. I, Yeah, like I don't a food dish. Yes, uh. exactly. Oh, so okay. I feel maybe you know it might be good like f- for the first year or maybe for f- first few months, mm-hmm. but I'm afraid that after some time it will just decline, you know, and mm. and I have to bear all that cost. Yeah. So I feel the the potential is more on the event side, uh. mm. and and back then when I started, and I, it is still the same vision. Yeah. Like I feel that like Katushka is supposed to be like specialized in specialized in f- events and carnivals, and okay. honestly, I, I kind of like the. The vibe lah, the mm. environment, because it's always different, and yeah. we have different neighbors. That's you true. Know? That's true. Yeah. So it's 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 a fun, fun and encouraging vibes lah. Yeah. Mm. So with that, uh, what do you do when you're not doing katushka? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so back then, actually, when I I was start, when I started katushka, I was actually still schooling. Ah, okay. In uni. Okay. Yeah. Then halfway through, I was honestly I was I wasn't doing well in school. So I <laughs> did I didn't juggle well, and that's where like, the first day we started. And so we we did a lot more events. Mm. Uh, we, we try out different different events. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't do I didn't juggle well. So I I took a break from school. Mm-hmm. So uh, only re- recently, like last year, uh, yeah, late last year, I just just continued my school. Mm. So I f- we have cooled down our events for Katushka. Uh-huh. So on the days that I have no event, like majority of the time, I'll I'll be schooling lah. Oh, yeah. So okay. I'm done with my final semester. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, How many more years towards uh, the end of your uh, completion? This this year, December. Oh, nice, nice. Yes. About What time. are you studying currently? Economics and finance. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? <So it> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was a bit too ambitious. I, in, initially, uh, okay. it, initially, I wanted marketing or management, uh, okay. and then I told myself, ah, oh, it's, it's something that we can learn along the way, right? I think maybe econs and finance something like, <laughs> you know, not something that you can learn just that's by true. yourself. Yeah, that's true. But it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle. Oh. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not good with A math. And I, in fact, like during my secondary school days, I, I don't. I don't take A math. So like, it was a lot for me lah. Yeah. For, for my for my uni. Okay. Uh, don't worry. It's uh, finishing soon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. But, so I think that a lot because for me myself right. Uh. I have a job. Uh. As a software developer. Oh. But I don't have an IT degree. So uh. like for me, I want to always give this like. 
this advice to everyone like what what you want to do no matter what right correct. you don't have you don't you might not need qualifications correct right yeah so Likewise, like yeah. uh for you yourself you just jump right in after NS right correct yeah so yeah. that's why like oh my god like yes this kind of person must interview mm. yeah that's why I look into people when I interview yeah. people uh, they don't go through the traditional route correct, correct. and I yeah. feel that you you learn a lot better once you are in the scene yes. Yeah, uh, unless you are maybe you say like a doctor or lawyer. Of course, mm. you need a certain s- certain base, you yes. know. But other than that, I feel you just try out. Maybe you can start as intern even, you know. Mm. Like mm. Fr- from there, you can w- work your way up, and then yeah. you can even like discover. Because sometimes most of us don't, we don't know what we want exactly. That's why. Yeah, from here, like I I get to try. Okay, this is something that I I, d- I like, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So this is a, it's a good discovery for me, lah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So with uh with opening up a store, like do you have any advice or do you have any advice? For the younger Hasif <laughs> back then, <laughs> uh, for or for those who wants to uh, open up their own bazaar in Gelang uh-huh. or even any other stores, now there's so many uh, stores correct, out there, correct. right? Or events out there. Mm-hmm. Do you have any advice for them? Uh, firstly, I, I would encourage just start. Like I said, like, mm. like you learn a lot yes. along the way. Yeah. Secondly, I mean, o- honestly, the bazaar scene is get, getting trickier. Oh, what do you mean? Partly because of the rental. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty expensive, right? Yeah. So like now it's. At least five figures. So like last year, ah, I mean this year, is it this year? Yeah, this year is fourteen uh. k minimum. Wow. And and you're not talking about the, the electricity, uh, the water supply. Oh. So it can up to like add up to about like seventeen k for me. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so wow. that's that's a lot actually, especially it if you're talking about the f- price point of if you're selling at about six dollars, seven dollars. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you you do the math, you have to sell a lot. Of just to cover the rental, and yes. then you are not talking about the manpower. Yeah. So as much as you say, like you say, like we have we have a lot of queue and all, right? Yeah. But the actual fact is, I need that queue. I mean, Q. we need that queue partly because our overhead is very high. Mm. And if you notice, like because my my the nature of food is fries for me. Yeah. So it's something that we cannot do like way before. We cannot just fry everything oh. and just serve it. Okay. So okay. Okay. Most understand. of the fries are all on the uh, go. On the go. Okay. Yeah. So I need a certain. Output, so I need a certain like uh, manpower to give, deli- to to deliver this hot fries. Mm, mm. So like, so, so like, like typically we need a minimum of four people in oh, the store. Oh wow, okay, okay. So okay. all this again, like I said, uh, it adds up to the cost, lah. Yeah, it does. So all this you have to to think through first, mm-hmm. and then honestly, fourteen thousand is not easy, especially. Uh, no, it's not. I, it's I was so lucky because my rental was lower, mm. and then at the same time, I, for after a year, you know, I, the 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 brand managed to build up. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Like, so, so it does. By by the third year, it's not so bad, you know. Yeah. I get some recognition correct, from from, yeah. from the customers. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, number one, I think if think through about it first. Mm. And uh, so don't jump first, but think through a bit. Think okay. through a bit. <laughs> but if you think like okay, at the end of the day, I I think I feel like if you have that itch, just do it lah. Oh, okay. Like uh, the best thing is you learn from it. Yeah. You learn from that it. That but that of course, true. you must also also prepare for the downfall. So mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. And and the, the thing is, in, in Gel- especially in Gelang Market, we only hear the success story. Ah, yes. Yes. But there are actually, I would say, almost half that actually don't really make it. Mm. Yeah, even like, for me, like for my fourth year, I'll, honestly, I'll, I didn't do as well, I feel. Mm. Yeah, and, and this is my fourth year. We, we should be doing better, better uh, I right. feel. Yeah. Mm. But again, because of our... And, I would cost, yeah, yeah, but yeah. at the end of the day, I have, have to try. You know, yes, we yes, never know definitely, we definitely. Try, yeah. So uh, one of the advice is think through, but if you have the itch, really just <laughs> just go just for it. Go for it. Also, also, I feel the 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 reason why where we are, the reason where Atoshka is right now is because of the people, mm. because of the yeah the the I have a good team member. Like. Yeah. So without without them, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. Like especially like I said, like now I have like a my sister is, is very good at managing the social media. Yes. And and it's it's all goes without saying like because everyone has the same mission. Like, mm-hmm. like okay, this is what we want. Yeah. Let's make it successful. Yeah. Like, uh, like, ideally, that should be the way lah in, yeah, in all is, companies in all yes. businesses, right? Yeah. Everyone should be the same. It's not just like oh, I'm I'm here to work and and just mm-hmm. make money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So uh. It's just sad like because I had a, uh, a friend of mine that didn't do well mm. for his first de- debut in Gilang Baza. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, but the thing is, I'm, I'm happy for them to start. Yes. Right? Because uh, you can see like, like uh, at least he's doing something, you mm-hmm, know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's, that's 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 all I can see like, like just yeah. just do it, but at the same time, just be prepared for the downfall as well. Yeah, the 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 consequences yeah. that may come. And, and, and study the market, study the market. And ah, yes. And yes. honestly, fourteen thousand is not easy. No. Even though it has high traffic, but it doesn't mean that you you can cover cancel, the cost, yeah. right? Correct. Yeah, because you have other things to mm-hmm. also worry about. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, is there any like, 
Okay, out from the experience that you had, right? Mm. What is one big challenge that uh, that you have learned so far? Mm-hmm. Like one big challenge that you got reminded that you will avoid at all costs, that kind of thing. Or is there any that you have found? It's it's more of like a not really big, big. It's oh, more of small, yeah. Oh, like oh, for me, when I started, it was more of the operation side. So mm. again, like I said, like I just dive inside this industry, oh, right? Oh, okay, okay. So like I was too focused on the food, oh. but I didn't consider the operation side. Uh. So like uh, back then when I started, I because I, I, I'm doing fry, so we need fryer obviously. Yes, yes, yes. So like I didn't consider like uh, there will be this, this, this certain amount, this certain amount of demand, mm-hmm. then I need to uh, I need to give a certain output lah. Uh. So my output was very slow and uh, okay. at the rate because like our selling window is quite short, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so I need a certain amount of output to to, to get certain mm. amount of sales. Yeah. So and I need a certain number of fries. Uh, yes. I mean fryer. Yes. So all that like I, I didn't factor in, so like my cost went even higher because like for every fryer, for every plug, mm-hmm. you need additional power. Mm. So all that is cost. Yes. Yes. Something I, I, I don't factor in, and I so didn't uh, factor in like the time to mm-hmm. prepare the stuff. Mm-hmm. So like one fr- how, how long will it take to, to serve one customer? Yeah. So when when we started, <laughs> and I, again I'm thankful for this. Like customer had to wait about. 30, 30 minutes to 45 I minutes. I remember because I was the one of them. And and and. It's like lama nya. It's like okay lah. We go walk around. And now. you know, like I said, because we are very customer oriented. Like yeah. We, we actually took down the the, the number. Yes, I know. And the name. Yes. And once ready, we text. Yeah. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah. So that was really <laughs> oh my god. Like I didn't thought of this. You know. And and and. That's fine. Yeah. And back then, like I said, I was quite tight. You know, yeah. Like it is. It is. Every power it cost me about four hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I have to add like two more. Like mm-hmm. that's another easily eight hundred dollars. Yes. You know. Yes. So. Uh, so this one mis- like mistake like I didn't think through about the operations. Yeah. Then, typically because because for me like, uh, it's a very small team. Like, uh, it's mainly I have the vision and the rest like I we share and we, yeah. we, we, we give input. Sometimes we didn't thought of all this, so ah. I I don't have some someone that actually think through. Okay, like how's the flow gonna be like? Ah, you know? okay, okay. And and begin like I said because I have no, uh, FME background. Mm-hmm. So like mm-hmm. I I don't know like, how, <laughs> normally they they work like in restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so that's the thing like. Again, like I, I learned the hard way, but it's a good thing that I will remember, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Other than that, um, because for the first year, like I said, like we we try out a lot of events. Yeah. So, not many events are <laughs> oh, doing good. Oh. Okay. 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 And of course, like in in general, the the event gonna, event organizing event organizer is gonna say like it's a good event lah. Mm. I mean, it's your 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 own event. Of yeah. course, you can say. Of course, you say good. Yeah. Yeah, but just be mindful, like like. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah, it's, it's not, not easy. easy. Yeah. So it's like uh, first year, there's ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Even though, like I said, it, it might be good in Geelang, but not no in other events, yeah. right? And yeah, we definitely. we realize that like, okay, uh, maybe it's not worth to do all every all events. <laughs> like we just stick like maybe a year you set a goal or the events that you you should do and should avoid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like like for now, we are somewhat. Uh, Decided or uh, know what are the events that we mm-hmm. should do? Mm-hmm. Things like lalu dalang, like for mm. uh, what do you call it? Twilight, uh, Slap Fest. These okay. are all what the events that we uh, we enjoy doing it, mm-hmm. and also it has a good crowd. Uh. So like obviously, like we, we don't mind doing this. Oh nice. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, we have, we have to factor in, like because like I said, like we only hear the success story. There yes. are actually uh, a lot of other vendors that mm. didn't make it as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, pretty much, that's it, lah. Mm. Also, like I said, like again, I'm. I'm I'm gonna repeat this many times, but my teammates are amazing. Yeah, the support so system, lah. Yeah. So yeah. like, how there are actually vendors who experiencing like uh, not good stuff. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, where they yeah. got cheated or it's mm. you know where because we are event based, right? So yes. there's in the case where you are supposed to work, but then you you don't turn oh, out. Oh, you don't turn out. Oh. And because like oh. we are because we, we, we work yes. like yes, it's a short period. Yeah, of time and, and also. it's high volume. Like you yes. really, you really, you really need you need the manpower, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. So. For me, I I don't really experience mm. that. Okay, okay, because yeah. you really have very good support system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And one thing, so from all of these challenges, what is one thing that uh, you really benefited from from this uh, venture? Mm. From yourself, yeah. I I like doing FMB. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's one you thing. You realize after yeah, doing it. Yeah, like like serving. Oh, that's nice. Like it's it's something that because like once you serve right like. People do enjoy the food and yeah. be happy and like I'm oh, okay, <laughs> like yeah. I'm, I'm glad yeah you know and also like uh, managing people 
Mm. Like like I said, like how, how we Katushka created a culture. Yeah. And it's not like because everyone shared the same vision. Mm-hmm. Like okay, this is what we we, we have lah in our in our minds and and something that we work together as. Yeah. It's not just okay, you come here to work. Yeah. I think it's very important to 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 do that. I I feel like if whatever business that you start later on. It should be that way, like it should not just be for the money. Yeah, of course, I understand nice. that money is important. It is, and and it it is, but but to a certain degree, I feel like to make it even better, all the people that that is working should be happy, lah, and mm. and clear on the vision. Of yeah, the play vital role on your vision towards yeah. uh, Katoshka. Mm. Then uh, also one thing, uh, because you guys gain, I think quite quite some uh, attention when you guys came out, right? Mm-hmm. Were there competitors? Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> obviously, ah, uh, yeah. and again, it's food, so it, it's yeah. not nothing. You can't put in your food. Yes, you see. But first, first year it's okay. I think the third year. So again, like there are certain articles that feature us and yes, saying that yes. oh, they are doing really well. Mm-hmm. You know, certain earn a certain income, yeah. certain figures. But correct, correct. <laughs> honestly, really? like some of the the figures are really taken out of context, <laughs> and it's not something that <laughs> like I I expect them to write. Like ah uh, no, that's not that's not right actually. Yeah, yeah. But things that there are. Mm. But at the same time, I feel that uh, this is normal. But I feel that you just focus on your lean mm. and be better. Mm. I think the rest will will just uh, solve by itself, lah. Yeah, yeah. And you, and yeah. I I understand that the <laughs> operation side, it's not easy. Mm. In terms of the costing, yes, the manpower needed. Yes, yes. You might want to copy, but actually. It's not easy, lah. Like it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not yeah, easy. Yeah. There's always uh, certain uh, problems you have to face right. when you do this kind so of like thing, lah. So like, if they do, then they, they will know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, of course, I, as much as I, I'm a bit worried, but at the same time, so like, uh, I shouldn't be too bothered by it, lah. Just mm. focus on your lean. Yeah, yeah. that's and that's a very good advice. Yeah, that's really very good advice. So yeah, I think uh, that's about me for for now, lah. Yeah, th- like it's really very inspiring to really listen to your story because like. I feel like a lot of people are overthinking. They don't mm. like like Correct. you for you. You just jump <laughs> and then you learn along the way. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So I think that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And the experience that you had, and I think yeah, you are really grateful for the people that are around you. Yes. Because and one thing that uh one thing that always come to my mind when you're talking about your support system is that mm-hmm. you let them play according to their strengths, mm-hmm. which I think is really very good because mm-hmm. they don't have to worry about their weakness. Mm-hmm. They just double down on their strength, and that's why I think Katushka is being good as what they are as a brand itself, lah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh and hopefully. Katusha will be very good in the next few years. Thank you, thank you. It will be a brand. I don't know. Maybe you thank guys can you. go overseas to do a bazaar. <laughs> but I, I think some stores do that, right? They yeah. Go overseas, yeah. But honestly, for me, like I feel that like Katusha right now is it's 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 more of like we are taking a step back. Like we're ah. just gonna pull ourselves down. Like okay, okay yeah. let, let's let's move forward from here. Mm. Like for me, like Katusha is a more of a stepping stone. Like I said, because yeah. I dive in, so now now I'm, I'm somewhat aware of the scene, ah. like how, how it works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So maybe, maybe later on in the future, I might start something new, something mm. different. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So to expand Kotushka, we'll see about it, lah. Yeah. yeah. But but like I said, like we we need for every event, so like maybe like the major ones, like Gelang, mm-hmm. we need to innovate, lah. If you keep selling mm, the same stuff, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where the chicken ca- comes in. Yeah, yeah. 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 But again, like w- once the new product comes in, like. It's quite uh, hard to maintain the previous one. Uh, this additional work, like uh, you know, you yeah, have to factor in. Yeah. Um, how about what about manpower and mm-hmm, whatnot? Mm-hmm, yeah. 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 But I mean, that's part of the business, you know. Yeah. yeah. Part of the fun, I would say. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So I think uh, that's about it for now. Uh, thank you for coming to this uh, interview. No, no problem. So for those, uh, do you have any events coming up? Uh, uh for yes. Uh, yeah. Just when will this like podcast be coming up? Uh, next week. Next week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, August twilight. Ah, I okay. think it's on 29 August. 29 August. The, yeah. So just I think it's they should I mean we we will update in, in our mm. Instagram social media yeah. and Facebook ah. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So follow them uh what's your Instagram handle at the Kotoshka or at the Katoshka. Katoshka. The okay. And Katoshka. Katoshka. No R ah, for those Russians. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone listening? No, in fact, there, 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 there are people actually like Russians. Russians like, ah. Oh, uh, the Kat- you are missing R. Ah, R. <laughs> yeah, really yeah, ah? They, yeah, they came to your store yeah. and then they corrected you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, that's uh, nice. Uh, like, and someone said, is, is that on purpose or yeah? It's not oh, purpose, that's yeah. so nice. Oh my, that's so cool. That's so yeah. cool. Oh, sometimes I feel embarrassed. Like, oh shit, is, did, did, did they just misspell the word? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so thank you guys for listening. Hope you guys ha- learned something. If you guys want to start something, I don't know, you guys can PM. Do you want to tag your own social handle? I oh don't you know. Can just drop the, the DM at uh, the Katoshka. Yeah, DM at the Katoshka or, or follow them ask. at Facebook. Yeah, mm. ask, okay? Yeah, and you guys mm. also opening up a new uh, 
drink brand right a beverage brand Eve Mon right yes yeah and it's it's not like like in public I would say it's like in your yeah it's more yeah more hidden, subtle, like, subtle correct, right correct. okay all right so you guys can follow uh. Hasif uh, at the Kotoshka, the s- social handle, and they have an event Twilight at 29th August, right? Where is it again? Uh, Suntec. Suntec City. Mm. Suntec City, yeah? Yes. Okay. The so convention hall. Convention hall. Mm. Be there. Uh, you can say my name, no la, no need. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they'll give you discount, <laughs> no la. But uh, yeah, so you guys can check it down, check them out. They have a beverage also called Eve Mon, yes. at eve.mon, right? Yeah. Yes. You can follow them also. Yeah, you get maybe some exclusive to see their design and their drinks coming up all right so thank you guys for listening uh we guys have a nice day goodbye and we're done bye <laughs>